Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So we finally made it to the end of our complete pantry remodel and I'm gonna show you guys section by section how we optimize the space in our pantry. We do have a very large pantry so there was a lot of empty space that we had to get creative to optimize it completely. So I'm gonna start off first with this section over here behind me is the jars for our spices. It is a very simple uh, way to optimize space and then to organize your spices. So we just got some jars from Target and we label them and everything is organized and you can see where everything is. Uh, the way we stack them actually is a very simple method. I actually use just like a two by four and I stack them on top. On the back side, there is two two by fours on top of each other and it works out perfectly and it's very cost effective. And most of the time when you have guests coming to see your pantry, they would not even know it's on sitting on a two by four. The next section we had to optimize is this wall over here with the pots and pans. The previous owner kind of had this uh, set up and then we just kind of made it nicer. So we obviously painted the whole pantry white and I put in new hooks and the pots and pans are hanging here. We do have a smaller kitchen, so we do not have space to put this in cabinets and drawers. This is a very smart way to store your pots and pans without taking up a lot of space. So if you're in a confined space, hanging your pots and pans, I think is the way to go. So the next thing I did in this pantry was change out these shelves. So they used to be wire shelves, which was absolutely terrible. If you put your little cans of spices on it, it would just fall over the place and it was very unsturdy and not the prettiest thing. So I did uh, floating shelves. I did make a whole detailed step-by-step -step video on how to build floating shelves. It's super easy, very simple. Literally anybody can do it. So I made all different sizes of shelves. I used oak plywood and the same as the shelves behind me, which is very simple, so do check that out. Uh, it definitely optimized the space and it's a lot more usable. As you guys can see, we got a whole grocery store over here and everything that you need, you can put on it. We didn't even have enough things to put all the way to the top, so we do have a lot of extra space at the moment. And then we also decided to keep it open underneath here so we can put our cooler boxes and a little bit of bigger items, uh, vacuum cleaner, all those kind of things. So you have space here as well for the bigger items. Okay guys, so this is my favorite part of the pantry, this very backside. There was the most work that I had to do in this pantry. There was a lot of stuff on this walls, tiles that I had to replace with sheetrock and all the things. And we built this custom open shelf cabinet which as you guys can see, has got amazing amount of storage. So literally all our kitchen appliances are in here and we still have a bunch of space left over. It is a very simple, easy way to build cabinets. We did think about getting cabinets from Lowe's or Home Depot. However, this turned out to be a lot more cheaper than uh, the cabinets. I did, however, get one set of drawers from Home Depot and that just saved me a lot of time rather than building drawers. So I got one set of drawers and then I built these cabinets all the way around. And as you guys can see again, there's plenty of storage. After we got this build up, we put on countertops. Also, we wanted to have a bright light and very modern. So we went with a white epoxy countertop on an MDF plywood, which is very uh, cost effective again. And it's a very clean look. It is a lot of whiteness in here. We are thinking about doing a wallpaper on this wall. However, for now, it is a very clean and modern look, which we absolutely love. So if you are interested in building your own cabinets or putting in your own epoxy countertops, I do have complete video step-by-step -step to show you how easy it is and you can get it done yourself. Another thing that we did is a very small upgrade that anybody can do anytime. We upgraded our uh, outlets and light switches. They used to be white, and we turn them to black just to give it a little bit of contrast and it goes well with this brick right there. So this is the back of the fireplace and it used to be a red brick and we changed it to black just to give it a little bit of contrast and a more modern look and it absolutely blends in and turns out perfectly with the rest of the pantry. Another thing that we upgraded was the light fixtures. As most houses in America, they all come standard with boob lights. And uh, we just uh, went away with boob lights and upgraded the light fixtures to this modern black wicker looking uh, light fixture that blends in very well with this black brick of the fireplace and the outlets and switches, which is a nice finishing touch. Last but not least, we did the flooring and the trim. So we changed out all the crown molding, baseboards, 
and the flooring. The flooring went for a very light brown, natural looking wood color, LVP flooring. And it's a really awesome feature to this pantry. And I think the colors blend in perfectly with the rest of this pantry. Okay guys, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. Hope you guys enjoy this pantry transformation organization as much as we do. We really love this pantry. I think this is, might be now our favorite part of the house as of now. Um, be sure to subscribe. We are doing a whole remodel of this house that was built in the 1960s. And then also we do have a whole pantry series on our channel. If you wanna look for any videos specifically, be sure to check that out. With all that being said, thank you so much for all the love and support. Goodbye. We thought about doing it, um, but we thought about buying cabinets from home. We did thought we did think about getting. We did this. We, however, the way this was, uh, they were they were they used to be black. Uh, they used to be white, so we upgraded them to white.